Hello and thanks for joining us on TVC News this hour. Let's begin with the United States Governor's dissatisfaction with the accommodation and facilities provided for the state pilgrims um, in Saudi Arabia. Governor Maru Bago, during a visit to the United States camp in the country, promised to build a befitting one. Maria Mohammed tells us more. Uh, has just been celebrated by Muslims across the world and most pilgrims who have embarked on Hajj exercise have also returned to Mecca after performing different rituals in Mina, Arafat and Musdalifa. They will perform the final rite of Hajj, which is the Tawaf, cycling the Kaaba. These Muslim faithfuls will be heading to their home countries after this. On the 25th of June, 2023, pilgrims from various parts of Nigeria, like their foreign counterparts, embarked on journeys to Mina, Arafat and Musdalifa to perform major Hajj rides. They were so excited, but when they got there, they realized that accommodation and other facilities provided were below expectations. The governor of Niger State, Muhammad Umar Bago, had also come to perform Hajj and decided to pay a visit to Nyanja State's camp. He has this to say. We need to take up uh, these issues with Narcon. We are tired of this kind of uh, malaise. Uh, certain responsibilities we want to take, uh, take it over. We are going to meet Mr. President on these issues and tell him what we have seen and that uh, we want to take uh, our fate in our own hands. Other leaders from Niger State advised the Hajj Commission on the way forward. It's uh, unfortunate that the situation like this is happening. You can see people lying down outside, sleeping outside for three or four days now. Uh, the feeding aspect is not good. Uh, we are all fed with whatever we are given. And we, we, are just, we just have to take it because we, have, we cannot provide for ourselves. You have movement to Jamrat and out of Jamrat. I think um, our people have been subjected to some uh, uh, troubles uh, moving around the Jamrat. So I think um, we will take this back home and we expect, of course, uh, for the Hajj Commission to come up with a report so that we interface with the um, appropriate authorities of the Saudi government and see areas where improvement can be made within the next one year. The NACON chairman had also earlier paid a visit to all camps housing Nigerian pilgrims in Mina and also expressed disappointment about the way the Mutawif agency set up by Saudi authorities had handled the accommodation situation in camps. The tent is the exclusive preserve of the government of Saudi Arabia. We had no way to expand it or to contract it. But we had their understanding that the tent is enough for all. So I must say that we are very disappointed that in the end quite a number of pilgrims are left to stay outside the camp. All parties involved in 2023 Hajj operations have preferred solution to enable pilgrims have the smoothest and best Hajj experience in the future. Maria Mohammed, TVC News, Makkah.